Well, here's something fascinating. There's a new compound being discovered that could target inflammation and abdominal fat all in one sweep. Researchers are uncovering a compound that may literally switch your metabolism back on at the cellular level. This stuff hones in on brown fat. It improves insulin sensitivity and it works on inflammation at a core level. I cannot tell you how much I needed this stuff 13 years ago when I was struggling. It's called dehydroquercetin or taxifolin, and it's from a completely natural source. So it's not a stimulant. It's not a drug. A lot of the research out there was in rodents, but now we're starting to see some human stuff. But the kicker is there's a new human study that was published in Nutrients 2025, like this year, that actually showed a measurable fat loss and metabolic improvement in just six months, which sounds like a long time. But when you consider what it's doing metabolically, it's wild. And it did this all without side effects. So today we're going to break this down into three parts and I'll make sure that it all connects by the time we're at the end. So first, First, we're going to talk about what this new study found and why it's so exciting for our metabolism. Secondly, we're going to talk about how it actually works. We're going to get into mechanisms in Thomas DeLauer fashion. We're going to talk about how it works through brown fat activation, through insulin sensitivity, and through something that's called FGF21. And then finally, we're going to talk about how you can potentially enhance its effects naturally with a few synergistic strategies that you might even already do, but I'll teach you some ways to optimize them a bit more. So let's start with the study itself. So this is a new 2025 study, and it was published in Nutrients, and it analyzed the potential of dehydroquercetin specifically for weight loss in humans. Now, this wasn't a small trial. Okay? It followed 62 people over about six months. Half of them voluntarily supplemented with 300 milligrams per day of taxifolin or dehydroquercetin, and the other half did not. Here's what is wild. The group that took taxifolin lost on average 1.6 kilograms, while a control group barely moved the needle at just 0.3 kilograms. Now that might not sound like a massive drop on the scale, but what matters is what changed under the hood and the fact that this is all they did differently. Their HDL cholesterol, that's your good cholesterol, actually increased while the control group saw it drop. Those HDL improvements were directly linked with greater weight loss. So it wasn't just water weight or glycogen. This points towards a genuine shift in metabolic function. And here's the most important part. There were no adverse effects, none whatsoever. No elevated liver enzymes, no weird side effects, which is huge when you consider how most weight loss drugs can wreck your system over time. Simply put, this was the first human evidence showing that taxifolin can enhance weight management safely, and the results backed up what earlier animal studies hinted at for years. Now, for the second piece, though, we gotta talk the mechanisms here. The earlier studies, especially a 2023 paper in Nutrients, had found that taxifolin turns on genes in brown adipose tissue, okay, also known as BAT. This is the type of fat that burns energy instead of storing it, right? So it burns energy. When you add activate BAT, you literally increase your body's calorie burn at rest. It's like upgrading from a Prius to a Lamborghini with a turbocharger. It's a whole different level. The researchers in that study saw that taxifolin upregulated these things called uncoupling protein 1, PGC1 alpha, and PRDM16. These are three genes that basically flip the fat burning furnace switch. Now, scientifically speaking, uncoupling protein 1 uncouples your mitochondrial energy production, releasing energy as heat instead of storing it as fat. So PGC1A ran ramps up mitochondrial biogenesis, meaning your cells make more little energy factories. You're literally creating more places to burn and oxidize fat. But what about PRDM16? This converts the white fat, the regular jiggly fat, into beige thermogenic fat that burns calories. It turns our fat into a calorie burning machine. So simply put, taxifolin reprograms your fat tissue to behave more like muscle. But it doesn't stop there. We're going to get into some of the other pieces as far as inflammation are concerned in just a second. There is a brand that I do recommend that is leveraging dehydroquercetin for human use. It's a company called Verso. They have a particular product. It's called Clean Being that utilizes dehydroquercetin as well as something called spermidine, which can mimic fasting in many ways. It actually triggers autophagy literally through a, a compound, which is cool. So Clean Being is a really cool way to essentially mimic fasting as far as cellular cleanup is concerned. It also has something called luteolin in it, and it uses it at a very efficacious dose. So this compound is super anti-inflammatory. It's a true anti-inflammatory powerhouse. So anyway, you can try this stuff for 15% off. I put everything in the top line of the description just underneath this video. They have a really cool lineup of products. So Clean Being is a very cool one because its whole idea is to emulate fasting and to cellular cleanup, but they also have some other products like Cell Being and Evening Being and Morning Being. Really cool lineup that puts science first. I have known these guys. I've known the owners for years and years and years. You've probably seen them occasionally on my channel. 
well. So I recommend you check this stuff out if you're looking to leverage this new compound or this compound that we have new evidence on. I mean, literally 2025 human research. So it's not mystery stuff. It's not pie in the sky rodent research. This is real stuff now. So that link is down below in the top line of the description. But it also increases a key liver hormone that's called FGF21. It's called fibroblast growth factor 21. FGF21, it's like a master switch for metabolic balance. It communicates between your liver and your brown fat. So what it does is it activates AMPK. So it almost tells your body you're in a deficit. So it activates AMPK and SIRT1. And these are the same pathways we really talk about when we're talking about fasting, when we're talking about cold exposure, all these ways that we try to increase fat oxidation, improve insulin sensitivity, and ultimately increase energy expenditure. So basically helping our body just get into burning mode in general. So the whole idea here is you're not just burning more, you're burning cleaner. So this is better long-term as well. Now we've covered brown fat and FGF21, but I want to move into a little bit more of the third piece, which is insulin sensitivity, because there was a 2021 study in current issues in molecular biology that showed that taxifolin improves glucose uptake in muscle cells even without insulin present. That is huge. Mechanistically, it activates both the P13K and AKT pathways and AMPK, which together end up driving these glucose transporters that pull glucose into the cell. So it brings things like GLUT4 to the surface of the cell so we can absorb glucose without insulin. So even if you're somewhat insulin resistant, you can soak up glucose without needing as much insulin. That means steadier blood sugar, lower insulin levels, and less likelihood of storing excess carbs as fat. So on top of that, it increases fat oxidation. So you're burning more fuel and you're storing less of it. This entire thing, this dual action, this better glucose uptake and more fat oxidation is exactly what you want if your metabolism has been stuck in that idle position where it's just like not revving up, right? Now for the final piece, this is where it all connects. Okay, inflammation and what's called redox balance. So chronic inflammation and oxidative stress block those same pathways. Okay, inflammation and stress, they block AMPK, they block SIRT1, they block FGF21, and those are the ones that taxifolin is trying to activate. But this compound doesn't just activate metabolism, it defends it. There was a study published in International Immunopharmacology. This one found that taxifolin turns on what's called the nrf 2 ho one pathway. It's literally the core of your body's natural antioxidant defense system, okay? and it turns it on. It basically tells your cells to produce more of their own antioxidants, and it dampens inflammatory signals like nuclear factor kappa B and MAPK. There was another study that was published in Chinese Herbal Medicine Study. It was published in that journal. that found that this stuff reduces inflammatory cytokines. So it reduces TNF-alpha. It reduces COX-2, which is what ibuprofen reduces, and VEGF, vascular endothelial growth factor, all while improving overall cellular resilience. So in plain English, taxifolin doesn't just burn fat. It creates the environment where fat burning can actually happen consistently. It keeps your metabolism from being hijacked by inflammation. So now that we've gone through the science, let's talk about how you could potentially enhance these effects naturally. Because, because you can take clean being. I think you should. It's a great product from Verso. But I also want to teach you lifestyle ways. Cold exposure is a big one. And the reason is, is because it activates brown fat through the beta adrenergic pathway. So if you're already doing cold showers or ice baths or cold plunges, you're essentially giving your body a double signal when you combine it with something like taxifolin. Second is berberine. Since both berberine and taxifolin and activate AMPK, they converge on the same metabolic switch. So berberine helps regulate blood sugar while taxifolin clears the inflammation and oxidative stress. So together you get a cleaner, more sustained insulin sensitizing effect. And third, fatty fish are just straight up omega-3 supplements, right? These reduce NLRP3 inflammasome activation. So when you pair it with taxifolin and the NRF2 activation, they become significantly synergistic and more effective. So think of taxifolin as like the shield that allows omega-3s to do their job longer and stronger. They run interference. So let's kind of bring this full circle for just a second. If you've been feeling like your metabolism's asleep at the wheel, like you're tired, you're foggy, you're frustrated, the research suggests that there are ways to turn those systems back on. You still have to do the hard work. You still have to fast. You still have to exercise. You still have to sauna. You still have to sleep and manage your stress. Always comes first and food quality always comes first. Okay, the hydroquercetin or taxifolin is awesome, but it's not a magic bullet. But it is the first human evidence that 
that we can support the body's natural thermogenic insulin sensitive and antioxidant systems all at once from a natural compound. So you're not just changing how you look, you're changing how your metabolism thinks. And it may not be something you need to even use forever. Okay. So you can implement this and use it when you need to and kind of get your body back on track. Now I did a video here that talks about waking up in the middle of the night and not being able to fall back asleep because that is one of the biggest sabotagers of your metabolic health is not being able to fall back asleep when you wake up. So I did a video that breaks that down really well. I highly recommend you watch it. It's right here. And as always, please subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.